In the shadows of nature, a deadly predator lurks disguised in an unsuspecting guise the assassin bug, also known as Reduvius Personatus, or the Masked Hunter. This mysterious insect deploys its venomous sting with lightning speed, immobilizing its prey with paralyzing toxins before consuming them. The nymphs of the Reduvius, masters of camouflage, cover themselves in soil and debris, becoming tiny invisible specters in their surroundings. Meanwhile, the adults lurk atop plants, perfectly still and hidden, awaiting the carelessness of their prey. This is another Stetoda, a spider well known on our channel for its impressive abilities, which we've been fortunate to observe in previous videos. Stetodas are active and efficient hunters, with a great ability to construct sturdy spider webs and capture prey that surpasses them in size. Both arthropods, with nocturnal habits, share the same shelters, turning darkness into their domain and the night into their hunting ground. We observe how the bug, likely accustomed to feeding on spiders, jumps onto the stetoda. However, the spider reacts instantaneously, showing that it won't be an easy prey. The assassin bug's antennae function as sophisticated sensors, allowing it to detect vibrations, scents, and chemical signals in its environment, guiding its movements with precision. We see the assassin bug observing and calculating its next move over the spider, demonstrating exceptional vision capable of focusing its attention. However, while the spider appears relaxed, it is actually on guard, monitoring every move of the assassin bug and deciphering its intentions. In the world, there are approximately 40,000 species of bugs, some of which have evolved to live in water, showcasing their adaptability and diversity. We observe as the bug approaches stealthily, preparing to leap with precision. But the false widow's web fulfills its function masterfully as it pounces on the bug, it limits its mobility and scares away the predator. It would seem that the bug has understood that catching the spider won't be an easy task, as it remains permanently on guard. The Stetoda knows perfectly well where the bug is at all times, watching its every move. Interestingly, Stetona spiders are known for their ability to recycle their own webs, consuming them to reuse the nutrients. This allows them to survive for long periods without the need for food. The bug, regaining its confidence as a hunter, dares to approach the spider again. The bug, Reduvius, known as the Masked Hunter, earns its name from its habit of covering itself with debris, using this natural camouflage to stealthily stalk its prey. We observe as the bug tests the spider's patience to its limit, but in a moment of carelessness, it makes a grave mistake and stumbles, falling onto its back. This position is precarious for both the bug becomes more exposed and, simultaneously, grows more aggressive. However, the spider is skilled at capturing dangerous prey and, with great precision, weaves its strong threads around the bug, 
with utmost care. The Stetoler has realized that the bug possesses great strength, capable of breaking some of its threads, so it prefers to be patient and wait for a better opportunity. But pay attention, for at that moment, the fly that remained on the sidelines throughout the encounter springs into action. As the assassin bug frees itself from much of the silk covering it, the stetoda seizes the opportunity to catch the fly, a much more common prey in its diet, and one it recognizes immediately. And then, something unexpected happens. While the spider is busy trying to catch the fly, the bug seems to suddenly take an interest in the same prey. In a desperate move, the bug lunges at the fly to snatch it away from the spider, but accidentally gets trapped in the false widow's web. With a stroke of luck, the spider now finds itself with two prey instead of one. The Stetoda, capitalizing on its unexpected advantage, wraps both prey, in a single bundle of silk. As a curious fact, it's worth mentioning that the venom of the assassin bug is composed of a mixture of proteolytic enzymes and neurotoxins, which break down the tissues of its prey and paralyze its nervous system. In comparison, the venom of the stetoda contains alpha latrotoxins, which affect the nervous system of its targets, causing a massive release of neurotransmitters and paralysis. Although both venoms are highly effective, they act differently. The bug is no easy prey either, as it demonstrates by attempting to free itself, breaking the strong silk threads. If the stetoda doesn't act quickly, the bug will manage to escape once again. No matter how much silk the spider uses, it never seems to be enough to stop the bug. The spider doesn't dare to get close enough to inject its venom, so the bug remains completely intact. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to keep watching this content.